What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see you, boys. We're talking Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and whenever we're talking Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's a pretty good day. Listen, we got new gameplay footage of Johnny and Sissy. I'm very excited to see how these two crazy people work. Obviously, they were not in the tech test, so we did not get to see them. But let's watch the video that was given to us from the official Twitter account, and then let's break it down together as a family. That's how we do over here. Slash the like button, subscribe, and notification set to all join slash or gain all that good stuff. All right, let's check out Johnny and Sissy and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, Johnny's up first with his tweet saying every family member is special in their own way. Have a closer look at Johnny and his hunt ability. Do you ever watch someone die? You ain't never quite the same after that, let me tell you. Now, where did you go? I'm on your tail now. next video we have is for sissy and the tweet for her says this powerful and poisonous sissy's bane ability is the perfect complement to her cunning and crazed nature she is extremely dangerous and sadistic member of the slaughter family where the mountains reach like fingers to the sky never ask why too quiet. They can't be far. Love never dies. Now the first thing I noticed with Johnny's hunt ability is he does seem to have to slow down to actually use it. It does take some time to analyze the footprints and then when it, it seems like when he's in that hunt ability he can only walk and follow the footprints where he can't really run which is definitely pretty interesting because i feel like if he had the ability to run and see the footprints at the same time it might be a little overpowered just from my experience in the tech test how do i see johnny's hunt ability actually affecting gameplay is there was so many times or if you run and jump out of the window upstairs or something, you bust out of the upstairs window, you fall down, you get up and you go hit, no, you go hit a corner bush, you know, or actually perfect example is the front house or the front window on the family house. You make it out of the basement, you just run, charge, bust out of the front window and you wrap around to the bushes. We did this multiple times. And the reason we were able to do that is because the family members with Leatherface, Cook, and Hitchhiker were not able to find me once I got out of that front window. So that was my main objective. Just get outside the house and then there's so many different places I could hide. Johnny's going to stop that. He goes to the he goes to where you fall out of the front window. He's going to analyze your footprints. And then he's going to follow you all the way to the little corner that you're hiding in. But that's definitely a huge game changer that I can't wait to see. Outside of his hunt ability, that's, which is obviously the main showcase uh, in this Twitter video, there's not much to see other than Johnny's just a complete badass. So let's move on to Sissy. Now I've been pretty hyped for Sissy when it comes to her. We've we, In the tech test specifically, we did see these stations around the map that looked like where she makes her poison. We don't know if that's confirmed if she's able to use up all her poison and then go to those stations and craft more. We do see in this video in the bottom right corner that she does have three uses of her poison similar to how the cook has three padlocks or the hitchhiker has three traps and the way that she sets it is pretty cool because it looks like she just blows it out of her hand and it works completely different than what i thought because in this video you see her go into a hiding space which by the way it looks like sissy also has a limited amount of time in the hiding space like victims do if you didn't know if you're a victim and you get into a hiding space uh, if you get into like a freezer or something like that, you will actually see the screen start to get dark and you're starting to freeze and you'll jump out of the hiding space. Uh, it looks like Sissy has that as well, but her poison works so much different than what I thought. He's like putting it down almost as like a trap, like sprays it into the hallway. And then you can actually see her 
pushing one of the victims to go towards that hallway, which is a pretty cool level of gameplay that I did not expect to see. Another thing I'm not completely sure, but it looks like in this video, oh, actually Leland's health is super low. I was gonna say maybe going through the trap is an insta kill. It's pretty cool because effectively Sissy could shut off just different areas of the map. You know, she puts a few of those down in the basement and you're running down there. Leatherface is chasing you, Sissy is chasing you. You can no longer go that way, which I think is gonna change up gameplay a lot. I'm very, very excited for Johnny and Sissy. I think not seeing them in the tech. I think I think we got off easy in the tech test. I've been telling you all this. A lot of people were saying that the tech test um, was very stale and it was the same thing over and over. It was obviously extremely limited content. And a lot of the things that we were doing, such as bum rushing the, the stairs and, and jumping out of the front window, things like that are not gonna work when Johnny and Sissy arrive. And I could not be more excited for that. Let me know what do you think between Johnny and Sissy, their abilities, the hunt ability, the poison ability. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to slash that like button, subscribe with notifications set to all so you don't miss out on future posts. Join Slasher Game for as low as a dollar a month, support the channel directly. That's all I have for you. Till then, remember the rules, don't do drugs, don't have sex, and oh yeah, don't die.